Hey everybody, so it's Friday, which normally means it would be time for the week that was. However, we're only three days away from like the monthly wrap up and I read a bunch of stuff this week, but I didn't finish anything. So we're going to do a comic book review instead. So I went ahead and picked up Exceptional X-Men number one. This one is put out by e-viewing artist Carmen Carnero. Apologize if I kill any of these. And I, I forgot to mention it last time. So color artist is uh, Nolan Woodard and letter is Joe Sabino. This is going to be an interesting one because I'm going to tell you this. I'm actually interested in where this group is going. Don't know if you need to hop on on issue number one. Story's not bad, but it's very much set up. And I understand it. You've got to do set up. That's nothing against the writer. Like I said, I think the story is heading somewhere good. Again, I'm just telling you, I don't think you need to necessarily pick it up. We start out with Kitty Pride, going by Kate Pride now, because she's a big girl. Um, and I'm not saying that condescendingly. She's been through a lot. You know, Kitty's kind of a girly name. She's, she's not the teenager she used to be. And she's been through some stuff. Anybody who followed Krakoa, you know that. And just trying to live a normal everyday life, trying to stay as far away, as they say in the comic, as far away from anything with an X on it as possible. But of course, it's Kitty Pride, so that's not gonna happen. A and yes, she will be going by Kitty Pride by the by the end of the comic too. So that's I don't feel like that's a spoiler. The one thing that you I would say you might want to read this for. Obviously, it introduces a new character that I feel uh, it's somebody that's on the cover, and I feel like that's somebody who's going to be going forward. So it might help to have that background. And of course, the reveal, and I use the term reveal loosely, but the last couple of pages, that's, that's really where this one made its mark. Absolutely perfect ending to this book. Again, if you want to pick it up, I'm not going to tell you not to. If you're on the fence, I'm going to tell you probably you don't necessarily need to unless you really want to see where this is going. But if you're thinking about picking up number two or following this series, uh, I am there for that. I do like the writing. I do like the art. And I kind of like where the story's going. We'll have to see what happens. All right.